All right, we got a new Thompson Center Compass 2 and 300 win mag. It was three, $225 after mail-in rebate. Guaranteed sub MOA with a threaded barrel. Basically for me, the whole purpose was to get a gun. I can test out my multi GSL multi-cal suppressor. I've used it on a 300 blackout before, and uh, but I've never had a chance to use it on anything bigger than that, so it should be exciting, and we'll go to the range and do that in a bit. But first, I'll talk about the compass. You know, obviously the stock is pretty cheap, but uh, the gun is guaranteed some of them away, and you know, the, one of the big deals this year was that the trigger was a uh, like kind of like an accu trigger. It's like a blade trigger, and uh, Sorry, it's tough to see, but it's like a blade trigger. Well, I will say, you know, it's guaranteed. It's un non-adjustable, but it's within between three and four pounds. And I would say this one is on the high end of that, four, maybe a little over four. I've heard guys getting some that were in the high twos, but I don't think this is there. I think this is more around four. So uh, we can maybe talk a little bit more about the gun, but I've actually got a Boyd's spike camp. Unopened in the box here, and I'm going to go ahead and open it up here and install it while this is running. I've never seen it before. I've got a Boyd stock on an Ultimate muzzle loader that I love. Uh, my dad has one on his uh, Ruger American. He loves thumbhole, and for this one, since it was a $225 gun. You know, I was just trying to keep things cheap, so I went for the Force Camo Spike Camp, because it was like 116 bucks plus shipping. And it looks pretty dang good, as you have, I'm sure, seen in some videos. It's real light. Grip is good. I think supposedly this it says just please ensure the recoil. Please ensure the recoil lug is properly seated prior to initial usage. All right. Supposedly this comes with the trigger guard. That's what it at least said in the sale description. And here we have it. The trigger guard. With some instructions. Make sure the firearm is unloaded. Blah blah blah. All right. Looks like we got. We got a trigger guard, a washer, a staple, a screw, and a little piece of plastic. So we'll see where the rest go. And I believe it's a number four metric that I'm using to take the stock off the Compass 2 and it's the same uh, Allen key for the new one which is convenient for both the screw and the bolt so let's get this stock off the old one Just to humor you guys, there. It is unloaded. Nothing's in there. Dry fired. Oh my gosh. I've got the magazine here with a couple snap caps in it. So again, just undoing these 
two bolts. And it pops right out. Zip, zip. Trigger guard is plastic and stays with that. And make sure the recoil to love is properly seated. And I think it's properly seated right there. So. See how it fits inside here. Feels pretty dang good. So we just gotta put these one. These are the old ones. Got the one bolt, the trigger guard. Assuming this goes this way, so this is kind of flush. And it looks like we can use an old one of the old bolts for this. Maybe. Let's see what the instructions say. The long one is the rear one. Goes right into here. So we got the rear takedown bolt, we have the trigger guard screw, which is this screw that came with it that I showed you earlier. Same Allen key. This goes right in. All right. Those are pretty good. Now we have the front magazine catch and the front washer. So that goes. And the recoil lugs are in there. So the D and E. Alright, so we use the bolt. So we put the washer right here. I mean, this plastic piece right here. Not focused, it goes on the front side of the magazine well right here with the washer on top, and then one of these trigger guard, the old ones there, or not trigger guard, the uh, takedown bolts goes in there. using the factory takedown screw. So it says to tighten these to 30 to 35 inch pounds. So I actually happen to have a fat wrench sitting around here somewhere. 
So, I have a fat wrench. We will put it at to 30 to 35. So maybe we'll put it at a little under 35, 33. And we'll get correct. It's the second biggest Allen key that comes with the fat wrench. Highly recommend this fat wrench. We will, it's already there. That one is there. And probably shouldn't do that with that one, but that one's in. Yeah, it says tighten down the takedown bolts. So those are good. All right. We have a finished product now. A Thompson Center Compass 2 stock. I mean, brand new. Just opened up. Installed in a Spike Camp snap caps. A Spike Camp Boyd's stock. So next time I see you, I will be at the range shooting this with and without the suppressor with a couple different types of ammo. So hopefully now that shows you how stinking easy it is to install. I mean, I don't see any contact points here on the stock. I'm not going to bet it or anything. I mean, it's a $225 gun, guaranteed sub MOA with a $120 stock. You know, if it's sub MOA, that's good. I'm not shooting more than a few hundred yards that I know of right now, and if I do, maybe I'll go down that road, but... Alright, we'll see you in a little bit at the range. Alright, we're at the range with the Compass. Compass 2, 300 win. Just sighted it in. We're gonna shoot two rounds without the suppressor and two rounds with this, with. It's a GSL multi-cal, 30 cal. And the first one is, first round is going to be 165 Acubon from Underwood. And the second round is going to be 200 grain partition Nosler trophy grade ammunition. Hopefully you can see those. Hopefully they are in focus. Hard to say. So. So first shots are without the suppressor with the compass and the spike camp stock. Let me grab the suppressor. This compass is awesome because it came pre-threaded. All right. Now once again, first shot will be the 165. Second shot will be the 200 in this little magazine that it comes with. Overall, definitely reduces recoil, definitely reduces uh, sound. This spike camp stock is probably a little bit too short for me, but it still works well. I like the grip a lot. Trigger is probably around four a hair over. But overall, for a $225 package, plus this. GSL multi cal right here. I think it's awesome. So, 
hopefully this gives you an idea of how the GSL multi-cal works with the 300 win. And also hopefully it uh, gives you an idea what the spike camp looks like on this and how the different uh, grains may affect the noise reduction. So, see you later. And to conclude this, I would say that the Boyd's Spike Camp stock is an excellent value. I would say that I like the Featherlight Thumbhole that I got from Boyd's a little better on my Remington Ultimate muzzleloader, but the Boyd's Spike Camp is an amazing value and I will definitely keep it on this rifle. Uh, you know, so I got the rifle for $225, stock for $120, and it's, it's already threaded and guaranteed sub I'm away and has a decent trigger, so uh, overall you can't beat that. And as you can see in the pictures, there definitely is some noise reduction. You can't really tell, you know, as drastic as it actually is based on the video, but uh, I would say the bigger deal here is the recoil reduction, and uh, it's actually really substantial and it surprised me. So. Uh, overall, I really like the package. Super easy install of the stock, and uh, thanks for watching.